I'm Bob Ryan. This is Globe 10.0. With me today is Christopher Gasper. Well, Chris, one of the most interesting things that happened, conversationally speaking, in the offseason of the NFL during all the lull before we got to playing some real football was the fact Eli Manning saying that he thought he deserved to be considered an elite quarterback, top five quarterback at, at, at worst. And, you know, he's having a pretty good year. So uh, is he walking that walk uh, effectively? Yeah, I mean, I think he's having a good year, Bob. But still, I put him below the Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Aaron <laughs> Rodgers, uh, his brother, obviously, when he's healthy. I think he, he's in that next class of guys. And honestly, I'd put him below Roethlisberger, too. Uh, good year this year. But you go back to 07, the year he won the Super Bowl, he completed 56% of his passes. But he's getting better. He, he is getting better, but I don't that think that he's the Wasn't that his point? Yeah. I mean, he's, 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 this year he's completing 65%. He's cut the interceptions down from at least from 25, uh, he's not going to have anywhere near that. He's, I think he's, but just, you said cut down from 25. I mean, where, where else is there to go from 25 but down? He led the uh, league last year in picks. I know he did, and I also know and there. He had five fumbles. Also, do we turn the ball over 30 and, and, times? And, 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 and also, though, that there were a lot of uh, uh, that disproportionate amount of tips, I'm told. That's, that's the party line anyway. Well, anyway, but hey, who's played better in the last five weeks other than Aaron Rodgers, however, I'm going to argue, I'm going to take up his case here, than Eli Manning. He's completing about 67% yes. of those passes. He's yep. played great. He, he's he's, he's well, the comebacks. Se the Seattle game, Lately, I there were some tips. He's, but. he's doing, he's, he really, I, I don't know. Elite, we have to define what the elite is. I think we all think there's a Mount Rushmore, which, sure. would, which would include uh, Manning, Brady, Breeze, and uh, I'm forgetting somebody obvious. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, of course. Okay, and then you're right. Draw maybe draw a line, uh, and it's him and he and Ro and then Roethlisberger and him. See, I, I, think, think I think he's right there. Is, I think Roethlisberger is a more dynamic player than he is. Than he well, he, he, he has escapability. He does. As, as, and, and uh, I think he adds more. I just think to be elite, you have to have sort of a track record. I know he has the Super Bowl, but just last year, now he threw 30 touchdown passes for the first time. That's great. But he led the league in interceptions, yeah, right. and he had he had 30 uh, turnovers. With 30 touchdown passes, you're basically, I mean, if they had plus minus. But he would know, say he'd, that he'd, was he'd, then. He'd be like and, Dennis Wideman. And, and this is now, and right now, he's playing at a very high level. I think that much we can establish.